everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Sonic the Hedgehog 30th Anniversary Ultimate Collectible Figure. Wow, that's a mouthful. And we're going to see if this figure is right for you. Let's get started. So today I have with me Tails, and he is the ultimate collectible figure that you're going to be finding. And he's been available for a couple months now, but he is part of the 30th anniversary that is just happening in a few days for Sonic the Hedgehog. And uh, we're going to go through and see if this figure is right for you. So first off, uh, Tails here. What is he made of? Well, he's made of a high quality plastic, almost like a rubber. And uh, it is very well made. It's soft to the touch. It's not like really hard or glossy, if that makes sense. Um, and he is poseable. You can move his legs and his knees, his arms and his elbows there. And you can move his tails a bit and his head. So he is poseable, which is actually very nice. But the best part about this figure is that his pieces are interchangeable. Now, what do I mean? Well, for example, his tails. He has three different kinds of tails that you can add to him and change to make him a uh, kind of your own figure. Now, they do take a little bit of work and a little bit of effort to get on there to make sure that they stay on there. But once they're on there, I mean, look at him. He's adorable. Uh, he also comes with different hands. He's got hands that can hold a ring that I'll be showing you in a moment. He has closed hands and obviously his open hands here. He also has different faces. He has that open face there. He has a sad face as well as just an easy smiling face. And finally, he's got his closed eyes that you see, semi-closed eyes, as well as wide open eyes. And they're super easy to customize. You just pop them right off. Uh, the face plate even is really easy. It just pops right off. You need to get the face plate off in order to get to these eyes here though. So do be aware of that. You can't just you know, swap out the eyes easily, but it does hide the fact that these eyes are interchangeable, which is really actually quite nice. So they did go to a lot of effort to make this figure really nice for your collectors. Now, I did mention he comes with a ring. He does, and it has a little hole on the bottom so you can stick it on the base. Um, and the base itself is quite nice. It's made of hard plastic. It's holographic. And it's got those pegs that you can pose him on. Um, now, I will say that posing him, you're going to have to either pose him on one of those. Both feet have a problem with hooking into those to pose him in a wider stance. So do keep that in mind. And of course, this front one is for the ring. Now, I will say the missed opportunity in this is the fact that they could have put a box at the bottom to put this on top of to store all of these pieces. Currently, what I do is I just put them on a shelf, you know, in a nice little pile, and then I put this on top. But if you're good at DIYing, you have a 3D printer or anything like that, you could easily print a little box that this could sit right on top of. And voila, you could have a nice little storage box for your Tails figure. Now, uh, you can find these at some of your big box grocery stores, as well as Amazon. The price point that you're going to find him for is about $50. Um, I personally uh, found this at my local store, and they were having a sale on their toy section. So I managed to get him for $35, which was actually quite nice, but... Uh, that's about the average you're going to pay is about $50, maybe a little bit more or less depending on the store that you get him from. But right now on Amazon, he's $50. Is he worth the 50? I think so. And I think that's only because of the fact that he comes with so many customizable pieces that uh, you can have fun with him and just, you know, change and alter out those pieces as you see fit which I think is very nice. If it were more stationary, like this figure, and you really couldn't do much other than take him off the base or anything like that, 
then I couldn't see paying as much. But the fact that they did such a wonderful job on this figure and it has those interchangeable pieces, I think personally it is absolutely worth the price point. Uh, if there are any other figures currently, I was only able to find tails, but if there are any other figures, I will put them in the link down below or in the common links down below. Um, and yeah, I will be sure to do that. Uh, otherwise you can find links of where you can find tails, uh, of course, down below as well. Uh, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I'm live. Please check out my Patreon as well as my website for more information about me and what I do. And uh, yeah, please be sure to uh, yeah continue watching. I appreciate all of you and uh, everybody for following me and everything. But before I get sappy, I'm just going to get into my outro. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Stay safe out there. And as always, be good to each other. I'll see you again next week. Bye.